Hello, everyone. Welcome to game number five in the fifth new players tournament. This game is for all the marbles. Whoever wins this match is the winner of the tournament. And as such, we have the four best players from the previous rounds. Fredward, Mr. X, Cat, and Stasis Warp. I'm Philothanic. Joining me today, once again, for the last game is Andreas G. Andreas, Hello. what do you think about this map? Ooh, it's, it's once again a quite generous map. However, I have to say right south corner or whatever you call it east south or down right corner or whatever yeah, right got there. quite a bit of resources uh, found a scientist right now that's actually a bit late i would say mr x picking that up for 28k debt i would have definitely paid but given all those resources maybe fantastic. somewhere in the 30s fantastic spawn right there what they now fred we're going for an a nomad we have double electronics. It's an electronics colony. We'll have to see if Frederick actually crushed enough to buy 20 steel, and he didn't. It, it's what He's we've been seeing 15. out of uh, Fred Ward every game now, isn't it? Going nomad. Yeah. Uh, but this time, he's going to have a hard time as electronics is up on 212 already. Somebody right, crushed so steel, you said? No, sorry, not steel. Like so, aluminum's thirteen, water's ten, silicon's now two. Ooh. Somehow. I think he's sold. Yeah, he's sold to down get to get electronics. Yeah. Another two hundred electronics, and this is like this is a situation you do not found nomad when low water, low aluminum, low silicon, and high electronics. So I think Fredward first misfound of the game that we've seen. Yeah, he's going to have a really hard time. I think he simply forgot about the price of the electronics. Underestimated the the effect of that being such a high price as it actually is. I think he's going to hard, have a hard time, but maybe over time he, he manages to catch up. But as a nomad, you want to surf ahead of the curve when it comes to upgrades, not, not fighting it. So we talked about Mr. X, so we like that for the 24k debt that they founded. Let's look at Cat Spot. Cat founding a scavenger in the correct location this time. Nothing wrong with this uh, this uh, spawn as far as I can see. No, too good access on silicon, but then again, look at all that carbon coming in. And uh, yeah, it's, it's it's a decent position. If I were anybody here, really, I, I would buy up quite a bit of silicon because it's not too e easy to access anyway. Well, I mean, you wait until Fred gets to HQ2 off of that silicon, and then you buy which, it up. Which you is now, yeah. He's, uh, any advantage. HQ2. Cat might have a little bit of an overcommitment on carbon early. Um, you can probably just make do with a high and a medium to get the upgrade, but that's that's kind of a nitpicking. Let's take a look at Stasis Warp's found. Stasis Warp getting the second best found over here on this right hand lower side, going for an expansive. Uh, I'm just a little bit worried about Stasis Iron over here. There are nukes on the map. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, but luckily there's one more iron to be taken, and there's quite a bit of income, so it's yet to see whether people, people take take uh, they take a benefit out of that and really tra target them down. Then again, one of them is high, so you got to have three nukes to get those two down, so then you can transition into another medium. What I would like to see yeah. out of him though is grabbing the mid carbon, denying, uh, Mr. X. There we go. Perfect, just as I say it. Like now, that denies uh, a, a row of two or potentially three chemical labs on the carbon for Mr. X. So very, very decent way to do it indeed, if you ask me. If Mr. X now want to go into into chems later on, uh, regardless, he really gets needs to get teleportation. Fredward is doing. As pointed out in Twitch chat, Fredward doing one of the few times it's okay to go into electronics in HQ2. Normally not that advisable, right? Because so electronics, they're hard to make. <laughs> yeah, that's a, a good point. But yeah, uh, yeah. low prices and everywhere else, although aluminum's finally crept up. So Fredward trying to catch back up with everybody else, but what, it's behind the curve. One of the reasons too, it's so hard to go into electronics is that if that price starts to drop, and you don't cover all your costs, it's not going to take many minutes before you're actually not earning, earning any money on them. But hey, it's sort of forced to, yeah? As you pointed out. Mm -hmm. 
the power market is starting to rise and I don't know, maybe we, we're going to see somebody try and take advantage of that. The, not too many high prices, so I would be tempted to go for some kind of power play. Mr. X saying that they have some sort of connection issues. Hopefully it's not too bad. No one's had any connection issues so far and it's a little bit late to restart. Yeah. I think we're just going to have to power through. Yeah, nothing to do about that. Meanwhile, Cat has hit HQ5 by Soul 3. Yeah. Just powering through those upgrades, really. And uh, not, now he's in a commanding spot. So, yeah, Cat doing yeah. quite well. Um, Got to use their five claims, though. Yeah. yeah. Good I Would be a good idea to use those claims, but... um. Now starting thinking about it for a little bit, they're starting to go for those claims. Not Ooh. sure where. Well, that's far Ooh. away from wind. That oh, wind turbines, yeah. Yeah, those are wind turbines. Is there a whole kit to see where is good wind? Um, it's it's all the way up in the cliff by those double geotherms of stasis warp. Uh huh. I guess that's one power in each of them, yeah. Well, I mean, they you, they you need, need some power. Help. I guess. Not going to rotate those wind turbines, so I guess it's okay. Yeah, when you have a valley map like this, I, I, I think you've got to travel that far to get wind turbines whatsoever. The only option really being to go into solar panels then. We have a fight over Stasis Warps geotherms. Mr. X is the one who currently has them right now. Mr. X HQ4. Let's take a look at their territory. They went into some carbon to keep the electronics online. They have two more claims. That could be used. The uh, life support still pretty good, and there's still plenty of water tiles near Mr. X, so I'd like to see them move into some fuel. He needs to keep Slant control of this geothermal, though. One for 20k on a map with nukes. That seems a bit low. Yeah. Yeah, and if you're scientific like Mr. X is. Ooh, but Cat is potentially making a move here. Is doing a mistake, really want to buy one stock of themselves before they go into this uh this is uh, a buy attempt. It's gonna make it easy for them, but I think they, but, they uh, still probably I have it. it. I don't think it matters, Mr. X doesn't have enough income to defend themselves. Mr. X caught off guard by the aggression mm. from Cat. Cat's gonna pick up an HQ4 scientist sub and put wow. themselves in a commanding lead in this <laughs> game. Mr. X only... having the best spawn too, so it's such an important pickup because you really don't want Mr. X to gain some, some speed on this map. And uh, those DMPs, I was just going to say, Cat has not been targeted by a bunch of black market, and that's changing, but it's a little bit too late. Mm -hmm. I mean, Mr. X hard. bounced that one EMP off of Cat which definitely made that buy easier for Cat, because Cat put that right back onto Mr. X. Bouncing in peace are something you do not want to see as the aggressor whatsoever. Nope. You want to nope. see anything else but that. And uh, we'll point out 3k spies, there's no need for that EMP to bounce. Yeah, it's, it's too big of a risk to take really. So I have the question is can Sorry, Fred or Stasis beat Cat? Well, one way to do that is try to team up and go for majority buy. Cat only has two of their own Ooh. stock secured and they keep on getting hit with EMPs. Yeah, keep hitting them and, and attack them, but but it's hard to coordinate. Uh ooh, that's that's Fred's a cocky by Cat buying more into Mr. X. I would really try to secure my own stock there in the position that Cat is. Cat's making the bet that um, they're not going to have the coordination to do it. Cat's just going to try and try and uh, well press on under this black market that's raining like hail on her right now. Yeah, but they, they do have a, a good point because that stock price is very high indeed. It'd take a lot of money for their opponents to take them out, even though they would time out, uh, team up. 
I mean, but if Cat's able to defend themselves with these five shares and then continue to bind to the rest of the scientists, that yeah. scientist's uh, not making much money right now, but it's going to upgrade soon to HQ5. And then it's just going to be a sub that sort of prints money. Yeah, I think it's a it's a fantastic uh, investment in the long term. Can the AI take advantage of the slant drilling? Yeah, yeah, it still gets all the patents. Ooh. Well, Fred it decides to upgrade after Stasis upgraded, and um, yeah, Cat's gonna get away with that very risky buy into Mr. X and that very cocky move of continuing to buy into Mr. X. Cats can be able to defend themselves and get the majority of the sub, putting themselves in a very strong position. The black market, still cheap, still needs to be raining down from Fredward and Stasis onto Cat in order for them to have a chance to pull out the victory. Yeah, there's there's no reason not to start nuking them, to start furthermore EMP them, and, and even pirate them really just right. let it rain yeah. down because you don't have many other options finally catching on to buying into mr x but it's gonna be small shares there compared to cats yeah a little bit too little too late cat once again just saying you know what i can defend myself need be i got a really high stock price i'm gonna threaten you and make you invest money in defending yourself when you want to use that money for upgrades or patents or things of that nature. We do have two patent labs out. Uh, Stasis going for nanotech, good, safe choice. Thinking machines would probably have been a better play with 44K launches and food right now to go along with the scientists. I mean, sorry, expansives half cost off worlds for steel. Yeah, that's the one thing we've got to acknowledge too. Cats off world cost, cost them. 38k now which is essentially nothing with these uh lucrative uh, uh what do you call them ships with 44k so it's just yeah. one launch and you've paid for your off world while the others have to pay out quite a bit more well right now you sit back as cat and you just take the punishment because you're playing against the best opponents that you played in this entire tournament Sneaking in some off-worlds against them that won't be noticed and they'll be hits going to be hard, especially when spies are 6k, and there should be more spies on Cat's territory, and there's not. There we Kat's go. Cat's going to try and sneak in an off-world, but it is under the one spot that is spied out, so Fredward knows about it. So, Fredward, a yeah. A little bit risky moving into this early off-world. Um, it's still defended, so it's not... It's not not terrible, but it's definitely not the best that could happen either. Redward picking up thinking machines on opposed stasis warp going into a pleasure dome picking up virtual reality. Uh, Cat does need to defend herself and it would be a good idea to purchase as much of her own stock as possible just to make it harder for stasis and Fredward to get the buyout on her. But seeing that somebody like Cat got such a majority in Mr. X and therefore having a strong late game, you would really want to look to some late game, game advantage yourself when you know you don't have the cash at hand. But quite the contradictory, we see Cat being the one who, who managed to get the, the off world too, so I don't see any reason why, why the, the other two should have any chance against Cat. I mean, it's. It's um, definitely Cat's advantage. Mr. X isn't earning as much money as Cat would like yet. And you know that it still has that HQ5 upgrade that's going to come eventually and knock down that cash mm -hmm. later. And then this off world is starting to be targeted. Cat's going to invest a lot of money in defending it. Cat doesn't have thinking machines. Probably a little bit early to move into that off worlds. I'd say Optimization Center. One single optimization sensor would have been probably better to move into in the short term than move into the off worlds later when the black market's a little bit higher. I see the point, but still, she's getting one launch off now, so it's paid for itself. Everything else is bonus. To see 44k uh, ben uh, like earned from a 
a optimization center short term, it's it's a bit unrealistic. But then again, the camps are, are so low, so... I don't know, I, I still like this off-world, and she she's investing need... the launch into a new off-world. She still needs to buy in those two pips of stock. Just to make it harder for them to buy into her. Sell out of Fredward, buy in those two pips, because... Mm -hmm. If they are going to have a comeback, it's because it's easy for them to, you know, if Stasis Warp could buy these last two pips of stock, if Stasis Warp has the money, then maybe Fredward can earn enough money and actually make out the buy. Also, this second offworld choice, not building it underneath the goon that you already have, I think a little bit of a mistake, even if you're not aware, especially since you should be able to figure out that Fredward has a spy there, right? Yeah. Because they found your first one right away. Yeah, it's true. So Fredward spied, play. actually spying on both of the, the off-worlds. But, but still, right. I, I don't see the way back for the others, just because of the sheer stock price too. Uh, Staz needs to buy the rest of cap stock right now, and then hope before Cat finishes increasing the price by buying the Fredward, and then hope that something good falls their way. Um, I, I think Fredward and St Stasis uh, need a miracle. But there we go, a mutiny on one of the world. That's a good start right there. Well, the first first part of that miracle is Mr. X still only making four hundred, uh, not even five hundred dollars a second yet, and still hasn't hit HQ five. Right? That's that's the first thing that you need. Yeah, that's a very competent AI right there. I'm not entirely sure what the AI is doing. It just hasn't. I guess it's but just it so low steel, on world prices. And then went back into steel. So it's finally making steel. So hopefully, I'll have the upgrade soonish for Cat. Uh, Fredward moving into an off-world of themselves, going to get into this fight over Cat's off-world. Cat doesn't have auto off turned off on, losing thirty dollars a second on these glass kilns, not paying attention to those glass kilns. So that's something that's going to need to be problematic. Ooh. Stasis Warp sniffed out where one of the off-worlds of cats are, so both of them are probably known entities at this point. We're going to see an EMP come down and, and freeze both of them out. That's going to be painful for Cat right there. Mm -hmm. Fredward is going to do it quite soon whenever that mutiny goes out. Fred's going to have two off-worlds up of their own momentarily. Let's take a look at the off-world prices. 36k launches. How much does it cost Fred to put up? 108k. Well, that's going to take three launches to pay for themselves. Congratulations. Yeah, the food price has uh, finally raised up. And therefore, we see Cap moving into moving all their, their glass production into more food. So I think I think they. Oh, we also see over at St Stasis Camp though, running two clusters of greenhouse farms, pulling in a yes. ridiculous amount of money from those farms right there. Stasis is doing almost everything correct right now. Buying into cat, well, cat stock is cheaper. Building that has that off world market for the late game. Uh, has an optimization center which is optimizing food. Got into that a little bit late, but. You know, this is a new player's tournament, so there's a little bit of slack to be cut. But, um, Stas is doing the right moves to hopefully maybe have a chance at winning the game. Unfortunately, not. Doesn't look like Stas is earning money fast enough as Cat almost has enough money to take out Fred, where despite these EMPs and mutinies and everything else being raining down, Mr. X finally HQ5, so. That sub's going to move into more life support and it's going to start making a good deal of money for Cat. While Stasis is doing great in terms of producing food, he is... Cr I mean, look at the water price. It's just pushing it up there. He does not have the water production to support it. And therefore, we see a 300 water price now. It's absolutely insane. That is yep. a lot of money to be had for, I guess, Cat, whenever these water pumps comes back online. 
moving into chems when you could build two water pumps right there is a mistake. Yeah, absolutely. You just want water now. You don't care about anything else, really. Yeah, and all this money, it's cat's money, really. Just need all these pumps to get back online. Yeah, eventually it will be cat's money. Eventually cat's just going to win this game. Going to pick up Fredward, get a sub with two off-worlds. Don't know if cat knows about these off-worlds or not. Um, but maybe guesses that they do exist based on how much money Fredward is making. Stas is going to defend themselves, going to put up a second off-world of their own, going to have that stock into Ooh. cat. But both players are indeed at, so not a lot of attacks going to be going on back and forth. And Stas is making that misplay, not going in the water, which means that Cat's making a killing off of this water coming back 460 on that high right there. But it's mm -hmm. going down rapidly. Yeah, but there's a shortage coming in. We see Cat finally getting the, the buy on Fredward, and while Mr. X weren't making money for a long time, Fred will definitely do so with two off-roads, and even Mr. X himself is starting to make quite a bit of money for Cat here. So it's going to be hard for Stasis. Yeah, Stasis has their work cut out for them. Stasis needs to come up with another... Oh, what is that? 500k, while Cat needs to come up with 700 and. 40k to do the buy right now. What a payout. Yeah, if you're a cat here, you don't even bother buying up the stock almost. You just sit and wait on the money to appear. I mean, it's still a good idea to pick up the stock while Stasis is in low debt. So, um... That's fair enough. In case Stasis does pay that debt in, a, in an attempt to prolong the game. Still, the money Stasis is going to use at pay, paying out that debt is cancelling out what you got to pay to get it, I guess, in a sense. Right. I mean, these um, these solar panels are a mistake from Stasis. Stasis needs as much money as they can get now pay in order to beat Cat out until the, uh, to the buy, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Realizing it's a mistake, moving into some glass kilns. Um, once again, would have been better to have these electrolysis reactors as water pumps and then put the electrolysis reactors over where the glass kilns are. So, unfortunately, Stas is not quite doing the best moves. Although, these, uh, I did not notice that the glass kilns were going to make 300 a piece. So maybe Ooh. keep the glass kilns up, but still the water pumps, right? It's That's lucrative. Water pump. You're using negative 4.8. You're handing so much money over to your opponent right now. I mean, look at how much money Cat's making off of their water pumps, her water pumps, right? Yeah. If you look at the the graphs, sir, Cat earned. Wait, not too much in water actually. Where did all the water go? Well, she's using the water to fund her life support, right? She's got a lot of life support on. She has a point, negative point zero four water income per second, but that's going to change when this tile comes back online. But um, she's making it from the subs, right? Yeah, Look I think. Miss Fredward. Fredward is making water. Solar condensers. Uh, Mr. X has a cup, one, only one online, but, uh, you know, they're scientists, they don't need it as much, but they are rotating back into some farms as a sub-AI, so, I mean, but that being said, look at this, Stasis Warp, 500k, unfortunately needs another 400, sorry, 600k, needs another 300k, so, but, uh, Stasis is making a game out of it, but Cat only needs... An additional 100k. It's closer than I would think, but I still almost have enough here to just close it out. Having Fredward making them 3.3 thousand k. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, wait, 3k maybe. Oh. 3k a Excuse second. Unfortunately, yeah. Stasis is feeding some of that money directly into Cat, based on uh, not being in those water pumps. And there we go. Well played by Cat. Cat is the victor.
of the fifth newcomers tournament. Congratulations to Cat. Redwood recognizing in the shot that he's. Uh, yeah, I forgot about the electronic price. No, Matt, don't start with any founding resources, so you have to make sure that uh, you can get. That upgrade to HQ1 and Fred were just from HQ1 to HQ2 and Fred just sat at HQ2 for so long and wasn't able to get back into it. I'd say Cat's Buy and Mr. X was actually pretty good. Um, yeah, yeah. It didn't turn out as well as Cat would have hoped. It would have hoped that the AI would have made a better amount of money. But the benefits quicker. to the stock price in it's itself price. is great. Right. The stock price definitely helped there. I have, I have to point out, Fred Ward recognizing the mistake from his game on his own. It's a good start to improving. When you can point out your own mistakes, then it's easier to do something with. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then um, how much did Cat make off of dividend revenue? Well, once Fred things got going, 864k in dividend revenue, right? Oh, that's uh, quite good. Yeah, yeah, it's fantastic. That's more than anybody made of world. Mm -hmm. To two hundred forty-two k. Or sorry, six hundred. 242k in entertainment revenue from status warp that pleasure dome and virtual reality more than paid for itself oh yeah that's pretty juicy interesting but, uh, how all the prices were so low but when the off world started to come online the a lot of the prices just went crazy with the water and the life support yeah well when you're launching like food was the launch for the entire game so the food price was high um but was still profitable. Water price went crazy high because as is warp running that negative 4.8 deficit per second, something you don't want to see. Mm -hmm. uh, the scientist wasn't able to get up to HQ5 fast enough to kill the food price down. But if it did, that would have just mean that the off worlds were off world launches of food would have been even better. Yeah, yeah, it's they were juicy indeed. And looking at the black market too, like, this is the finals and that's reflected in the use of the black market. Finally seeing a game where it's all over the board, good use, except for Mr. X who were bought out early. 18, 17 and 11. It's much closer to what you really want to see. Yeah. Yep, so one of the things that players in group B and group C can definitely look at and uh, improve their game by uh, using black market a little bit better. Yeah, but congrats, eh? Good job, yes, Cat. Congratulations to Cat. Don't know who's in this. I think Fredward did come out with second and Mr. X third based on the tiebreakers, if my memory is correct. And all cred to Fredward to winning four out of five games. That's also a fantastic performance right there. Yeah, it was a pretty good performance. Definitely, yes, we do have Fredward as second place, and then Cat, uh, I'm sorry, Mr. X, in third. Fantastic. So, 